Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm not gonna talk about the Pad Go, I'm not gonna talk about guitar, I'm not gonna talk about music. I'm just gonna quickly share a personal story and tell you something about myself. You probably read the title, right? I'm scared of flying. I've never been in a plane that was airborne. However, I did work at an airport for three years. I've been inside planes, but the jobs I did were mostly uh, labor intensive. So it was just hard work of me loading up the plane with your baggage. Some of the other responsibilities I had while I was working at that airport was to take care of some of the procedures during the plane taxi off. So when you're standing and the plane is about to roll out, it's about to taxi out. It's usually, uh, there are two uh, blocks that are holding up the front wheel so the plane doesn't move while it's uh, stationary. So I was the dude that was removing those blocks uh, after the pilots uh, activated both or one or how many engines they have. So I would remove those blocks and the plane would be ready to taxi out. And here's a funny story. I once almost got ran over by a plane. I remember correctly that it was one of the Russian airplane companies and <laughs> Usually uh, the procedure is this, so the person who is starting the engines, he will uh, visually talk to the pilot like engine one, start. So engine two, start. And after the both engines are started correctly, the person that's in front of the plane will give him a two thumbs up saying, you're fine to go. However, <laughs> the Russian pilot uh, did not see his thumbs down still because I was still under the plane removing the blocks. So literally, as I removed the blocks, I saw the plane moving immediately behind my back. So I had to rush. It wasn't really that close, but I had to run a few steps not to be hit by a plane. So yeah, that was really funny. But that really doesn't explain my fear of flying and I can't explain my fear of flying to you because it's very deep. It's very, very deep. And my worst nightmare is someone putting me inside a plane, locking the doors and taking off. That would be, that's my worst nightmare. However, I decided to deal with this uh, fear, <laughs> but I decided to do it in the craziest way possible, I think, not to go flying, not to go see more planes. I actually decided to try and become a student pilot and to learn how to fly a small plane. <laughs> I'm definitely not interested in flying big planes, big commercial planes like Boeing's, Airbuses, stuff like that. I just want to know if I can do this, if I can pass the first the medical tests, then if I can pass the or the written tests. And if life gives me that opportunity, I would like to sit in a plane and fly it. And I would like to have a solo flight at least once in my life. I asked my mom already if she was willing to <laughs> fly with me if I get my license. And she said, absolutely, yes. So thanks mom for trusting in me. I've never been in a plane, but I'm gonna fly one, one day. <laughs> and that's it. Just a very short story from my personal life, uh, a short story about my personal fear and a funny story about me almost being <laughs> ran over by a plane. <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Adio.